first thing we're gonna do, and put your racket on the floor. And then I want you to, with that strings facing the ground, uh, you're gonna hold the racket from the bottom with your dominant hand. And the first thing I want you to notice how my my hand is holding the racket. So usually the most common problem is when people are starting is like they hold it very tight. Don't want you to do that. I want you to have a little gap here in the index finger, so that way it's a bit of it has a bit of mobility, all right? It has to be flexible, all right? Hold it from the bottom. Yep, that's it, all done. And, and that's gonna be the way you're gonna be holding for your forehand. So if you notice, my palm is facing forward and my strings are facing forward, all right? This, this is the strings here. So uh, that's the number one thing you need to remember is that's gonna be for your forehand, all right? So your forehand is gonna be, your palm is facing forward and your strings are facing forward. That's the, the main thing you need to remember. So if you ever feel like you're holding the racket and your frame is facing forward, that means you're holding the racket up, not the right way for the forehand. So, here, strings facing forward, palm is facing forward, easy. Now, just like the way we were doing when we were throwing the ball, we're gonna do exactly the same now with the racket. So, so you're gonna have with strings down here, you're gonna put it behind your hips, so the head racket's gonna be pointing the back. And then what you're gonna do is pretty much exactly the same that I showed you just then with the ball, when we're throwing the ball. It's gonna be turning your hips and then getting your arm forward, okay? Now, the number one thing I want you to remember is gonna be where your strings are facing is, is that's where the ball's gonna go. So where your strings are facing is where the ball is gonna go. So by the time you hit the ball, right now, our target is gonna be to hit the ball inside that square. So all what you're gonna do is this. So you're gonna go palm down, turn your hips, strings facing forward. All right, see how the straight parallel, that vertical here, like the, there was a mirror and they're facing the other side. So I'm gonna, get, and I'll, I'll drop the ball for you. So you're gonna go palm down, I'll drop the ball for you, you turn your hips, and have your strings facing the other side. And that's it, for now we're gonna start with that. All right, ready? So your job is not to give a lot of power to the ball, but just to make the ball land right there. Let's go. There we go, nice one, good job, calm down. Good, oh, relax on your foot at the start. Yeah, so that's it. You only lift it once you turn. All right, so no, otherwise you stay, wait for that, it's gonna be getting tired. You, your foot's gonna get tired there. Nice, good job. See if you can turn it as well. So good lifting it, perfect, that's it. So not just lifting it, but also turning it. All right, so that way you can get your hips forward. Yes, well done, good job. Yes, awesome. Good job, palm down, good. And again, the head racket points in the back, perfect. There you go, and from there, you're gonna turn your hips. Remember how you turn your hips? Yep, and then you're gonna get forward. Perfect, strings square to the, to the ball, perfect. We're gonna do around 10 more of this, yes. Yes, awesome. Well done. Good. Easy. Good job. Yes. You're trying to aim at the square. Okay, that's all right, one more. All right, awesome. So that's it. <laughs> so now the next step of that is uh, I'm gonna give you the balls from this side and you're gonna be on that side. So you, your job is try to read that ball and just go one and two. So very, very, very gentle. I want you to try to be very gentle here and I'm gonna even try to catch the ball. So that's how you end up wanting to be. Trying to kill me here. Let's go. So you're just gonna get your strings. There we go, that's okay. There you go. Yeah, yeah. okay. Calm down, there, there, good. Good, that's okay. So if you see the ball go, yeah, yeah, if you see the ball goes a bit too high, then that's because your palm is too high. So maybe you go from palm down to palm forward. Because like, like I said before, I say if your palm is here, if your palm is up, by the time you move your body forward and you, and you get your racket forward, your palm is gonna face in the sky. So that's what's happening now. So try to keep forcing your palm having down at the start, especially, all right? So really having that, that palm at the start there. Good job. Yeah, that's good, that's good. All right, and, and you don't need to tweak, you don't need to switch the way your hand is facing. So if you notice, all I'm doing here, my palm is down, I'm not really moving my palm up, I'm just going there, and my palm ultimately, when I have my hand in front, my arm in front, that's gonna get up, all right? So I don't have to force it to go up. So you start with your palm down, by the time you go there, your palm should be forward. That's it, ready? Yeah, that's good, I like that, good control. Wait for the bounce, that's awesome, well done, and again. Well done, awesome. Yes, awesome, well done, keep going. Really good. Good. Great job. Now, the next thing I want you to do, so I want you to start experimenting with that idea that I say about trying not to stop and try to give me just maybe five centimeters when after you hit the ball, your hand keeps going to the same direction. All right, so, so I'll do it one example. 
So palm down. I, even though I'm hitting the ball here, I'm not stopping there. My hand is gonna keep going forward. That's it. So not, not to the side yet, but I'm gonna go from here, I go there, and my hand keeps going. You see how my hand keeps going a little bit? So that's what I want you to try to do. All right, palm down. Yeah, that's good. Awesome job. Well done. Yes, that's okay. Don't flick it to see it, but just keep your palm facing forward as much as you can, all right? We'll go through that part later. Yes, yes. Good. Nice one. Again. Good, easy, slowly. Good. Now, I'm gonna give you, I'm gonna trick you a little bit now. The next one, you won't be able to reach it where you're standing. So you might have to do a little step. So what, this is what I want you to do. So the next ball is gonna be a bit more far away from you. So you're gonna have to step. You're gonna have to move your feet. So you're gonna go one, two, and then you turn your hips and hit. All right, so you're gonna have to go. You can go perfectly left, right, and then turn your hips and hit, all right? Yeah, that's it. So I'm gonna give you a little more far away from you. Well, you go. well done, good job. Rackets back, good job. Yeah, that's awesome, well done. Trying to get there, nice, well done. What about this one? So I'm gonna give you now a mix, mix of balls. So I'm gonna come to you, Whoa, watch out, I need a bit more space than that, try again. Good. Good. Nice. Yeah, well done, two more. Really good. And last one. Hips before you hit with the arm. One, two. Good. Good, good job. So just watch out with this. It's not the same to turn your hips than step in, step in with your right foot. Because you might be stepping, but you're not turning. So I'll show you what I mean. So you might be stepping but my hips still not turn. So turning your hips will be more from here. Stepping is gonna be more where your foot is, all right? So try, try to turn your hips, not so much step across. Let's go. We're almost there, almost finished the first basket. Yes, that's good. Now direct that racket to where you want the ball to go. Almost. I'll give you that, that's one. We're going for 10. Two right there. That's three right there. Three, three, four, four, almost, four, five, five, six, 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 seven, eight. Two more to go. Eight. Nine. Last one. E. Nine. Go again. Oh, so close. Ten.